absolutely bizarre. I mean, if when uh, a royal prince dressed in an SS uniform, he was absolutely, you know, condemned. Had he worn a Mao outfit, mm. nobody would have blinked. Why is that? Why is it right to wear a Maoist T-shirt, but obviously wrong, as it is, to wear a Hitler T-shirt? I suppose some people will judge that on balance, Mao did more good than harm. We can't say that about the what? Nazis. What? What was the good? <laughs> remind me what the good bit was. Serious, well, though. well, it's funny. I just had this debate with my son. I wish this were in prime time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just had this about myself. Still like he, all these old lefty dictators. He, Mao killed sorry. tens of millions what, of people. Yeah, just tell me what was the good that he did that made up for the 60 million people he murdered? He led his country from feudalism. He helped to defeat the Japanese, and he left his country on the verge. Could have beaten the Japanese too. No, well, and he left his country on the verge of the, you know, the great economic success they're having now. We've oh. always had to deal with <laughs> dictators. I mean, don't forget. <laughs> that we dealt with and became the biggest ally of the greatest dictator of them all, Stalin. Mm -hmm. And we did that to beat a greater evil threat to us at the time, which was Nazi Germany. That's perfectly true. Churchill knew that after we'd beaten Hitler, Stalin would become the threat. Roosevelt didn't. All, all that's true. Although, let's just say to Diane that you call Stalin the greatest ever dictator. In terms of mass murder, he isn't on the same page as Mao that Diane apparently Well, calls. I was just putting the case for Mao. Yeah, but, but, I mean, but, the point but, about... but like Mao, he did leave, lead his people from feudalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway, that, who that, those more... who had not been murdered were led from feudalism. <laughs> yes, those who survived the pogroms. Um,